Good morning, you YouTube people, world. Hey, uh, so I'm home. Got home about midnight last night, and uh, yeah, got home, went to bed, and swamp cooler was on. And then, uh, lo and behold, oh, I don't know what's that. I'm gonna have to work on it today. The uh, the motor, the actual motor that drives the fan blade thing. <clears throat> I think the motor is bad because it's on. Then it like seized up, and then I heard the the water pump in there, and then the water pump everything shut off. So I think it has a <clears throat> automatic reset in there. So I'm just gonna buy a new motor. New bearings and a uh, new pump, and uh, just put it all in. I went up there. Or I turned it on this morning. It turned on, so I don't know if it's an overheating issue or what it is. Um, but anyway, so yeah, the title of the video is gonna be—I don't remember what it was gonna be—but basically, <laughs> I snuck nuts through the train or through the terminal at the uh, airport anyway I'll explain here right now so these are my nuts so 7 16 nuts 7 16 bolts <clears throat> I can't find these stupid nuts in California I won't well take that back I've been to about seven different hardware stores Home Depot Lowe's tractor supply um, my little local hardware store, Ace, um, True Value, I think there's one more out here, Osh or something, that I went by and looked. <clears throat> I cannot, could not find 716 nuts. So when I was in Colorado working, we went to an Ace, Ace had them, I bought a bunch of them. <clears throat> and, <clears throat> excuse me, anyway, I bought a bunch of them. And uh, smuggled them across the plane last night. They were in my carry-on. Uh, yeah, I asked the TSC guy. I said, can I bring these through here or do I got to throw them away? And he said, uh, I don't know. I've never seen anybody bring nuts through. So, anyway, it was kind of kind of funny on all their parts. Because when it went through the, the uh, x-ray machine, the scanner... Uh, the one guy stopped the machine, pulled it out, and he's like looking at it. And he looks at the other guy, looks at it. And they're like all shrugging their shoulders, and they just threw him back in my little box. And uh, went on our way. And then the guy that grabbed the little tote from me basically said, oh, That's a new one. Never seen anybody bring some nuts and bolts across. Anyway, so, uh, yeah, that's what I'll be doing today is the swamp cooler. <clears throat> um, kind of exhausted. Worked a lot of hours uh, this half out there in Nebraska. We had a train derail. If you look at my previous video, you see a stupid little thing of me. Somebody rolled up on me and was like, what happened? And then I was just being goofy. Um, anyway, uh, yeah. So, that is what I'll do today. I will be doing Swamp cooler, motor, pulley, everything. And, uh, yeah, pretty much that's it. It's what I came home to do, I guess. <laughs> um, so it's about 200 and 220 bucks for the bearings. Bearings, motor, and the pump. And uh, this way it'll just be done. I'm not going to mess with going back and forth. Back and forth to uh, do that. So anyway, uh, next time you'll see me, I'll be up there with new motor. So stand by. All right, guys, I am back at it. Got a new motor here. So I'm going to go up there, take the motor down, and uh, I will have to uh, pull the pulley off of the one I got right now, measure it, its distance, anyway, got a new cooler pump, 
So a new pump. I'll bring this up there with me right now. Put that in. Um, I got bearing, but there's only they only had one bearing. So this lady's gonna try to order me more bearings. So what I'm gonna do is the motor side. I'll go up there and show you real quick what I'm talking about. So let me bring this crap up there real quick. And then I bought some some stuff to make it smell better. So anyway. Um, the pump, I think the pump is fine. I think it's the motor. The motor keeps, I guess, thermal thermal shut off, basically, when it gets hot. So I think the bearings, something with the bearings isn't right. And, uh, oh, I hate fiberglass. Anyway, um, something with the bearings surprise and right. There's no grease, there's no oil in the bearings, and it's getting hot. Oh, jeez. So, let's get up here. Sorry for blinding you guys. So I got the motor hanging right here. I'm hoping there's no power to it. Let me test it. Nope. 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 Nothing, nothing, nothing. This is how you test power, by the way. Just stick your fingers on it. And uh, if it zaps you, then there's power to it. If it doesn't zap you, then there's then there's no power. So I took a picture of this wiring, so I know how it goes back together. Probably a smart thing to do. So I won't just hang that there. Oh, take this motor. I don't know, it feels pretty loose in here. Shaft play. But, I don't think that matters. I don't know. Doesn't look too bad, but this thing's been in here since before we bought the house, so. And all it's held on to is these little brackets. If you can see those, these little brackets, they attach to up here. So. They go like that. So one over here and one over there, and then you tighten it and it clamps it together. So anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and I guess I'm gonna get something to pull this pulley. Pull this pulley off. Um so undo this bolt right there. Which I don't know if I have a wrench up here or not. That's that size. Probably not. Maybe it will work. So, and I bought a pulley puller just in case I do need it. So, and uh, yeah, so I'm gonna take this off. I'm gonna try to change this bushing on this side. Um, yeah, I'll probably need that pulley puller. Change the bushing on this side because it's harder to get to. Uh, and I don't want to disconnect all this. And then when I that lady gets the ones that I ordered, oh, it's still on there. I'll uh, I'll change that one because that one will be easy to change. So anyway, I will be right back. I'm gonna drain all this junk in here and clean it out real quick. Put this new pump on there. And uh, go get the pulley puller. I'll be back. Alright guys, just like that. It's all installed. It's all running. Got a new pump down here. Got a new bearing in there. Uh, lubed. Everything's lubed. New motor. Sounds good. I just got to do that. That last pushing thing. But anyway, I'm just gonna throw these on and uh, probably sweep off the roof with all these stupid pine needles and uh, call it a morning. So, alright guys, thanks for watching. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, do what you guys do best. And uh, thanks for watching. Check out, uh, subscribe up here, check out my boy One England down here, hit the bell notification. Check out my previous video over here. Hi guys. Later.